of the year. Wisconsin has consistently been a big story in the Big Ten for a long time now, and they're closing out their non-conference slate with Vito Brown starting off, fam, you singing the national anthem, which you've known he's quite able to do as a great singer is Vito Brown, but he would go on to have himself a very nice ball game. Driving inside with the layup, badges up 15. Still in the first half, Cole Iverson inside to Charles Thomas, the fourth. We're talking nine different Badgers scored in the first half of this game. A minute to go. Trice with a miss. And there's Vito. Yes, the sir. Badgers up 21 <laughs> at the break. To the second half we go. You said to me during this game, Demetric Trice is going to be really good. How come? Well, what he is, he brings a lot of swagger to the game. But one of the things he does best is that right there. The kid can knock the ball, down, knock the shots down from anywhere on the court, and he can put it on the floor. He can even do it when it comes to him fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the pass from Ethan Happ to lay it up there. And then Brevin Pretzel, 30 seconds later, coast to coast. <laughs> with the man bun. Man bun is the reason he was able to go <laughs> coast to coast there. Wisconsin ends up getting the win 92-37. Greg Gard after the game. Coach, this time last year, this was your very first game as head coach. Is there any nostalgia coming into this one a year later? Well, I think we pretty much moved past that. Obviously, that was a very special time and it was a special year. Uh, that whole transition, but now we've moved on and, and uh, try to continue to build with this team. What would you say your biggest development as a coach has been throughout the course of the year? Uh, I think just trying to get a, a feel of rotations, uh, who and when, and obviously that's fluctuated a little bit based on who's played well and matchups, but I think that's probably the biggest thing you're trying to develop a bench, and you know what your older guys can do, what they've accomplished, you're always trying to push the bar with them, but also trying to get your uh, younger guys involved and make sure they get some quality experience. Big Ten season is now upon us. What do you still need to improve upon to be successful in the Big Ten as you have been over the past 16 years? Well, I think just consistency. That's the biggest the biggest thing. When we're on and we do what we do well, uh, we're, we're playing that pretty consistently, then we're, you know, we're pretty good. When we don't, we deviate from that, then we struggle a little bit. So that's the biggest thing I think we fight for every day is try to be consistent and, and then obviously try to continue to improve because the league is going to be, I watched Rutgers a little bit with Seton Hall before we came out here, and I, I know Steve's done a heck of a job improving them. So uh, the mountain's going to get a lot steeper here real quick. Yeah, well, Coach, best of luck with the Big Ten. Try to enjoy a little holiday, will you? All right, we will. <laughs> Thanks.